Why isn't Willie Mays elite anymore? Let's get into it. Willie Mays since MLB 19 has seen a drop in use. From what I've seen, I don't have the numbers, but from what I've seen, and especially does not feel the same in terms of me using him, I don't think he feels the same. Why doesn't he play as well as he used to in 19? What's different? What since 20, MLB 20 to 21 to now has hurt Willie Mays? Short answer, the rise of sinkers being extremely overpowered, diving in on his hands, and the fact that his swing path and the way ball physics work now, I mean, it's very hard for someone like him who kind of humps the plate and has a, a very weird swing path to keep the ball fair. Hits a lot of balls with topspin, Everything he hits the left field rolls over into foul territory and anything low and outside, I feel like he falls over on it and rolls over, over to shortstop third base or it's weakly hit to right center. That's my theory. I think they have to make an adjustment to swing path. Take a look at that. Take a look at timing. Pinpoint's really strong too now. So you could dot those sinkers on him left and right. That's what's kind of hurt him since I'm with the show 19. He was the king supreme of cards. You wanted the five to a Willie Mays. He was the guy. Even Mantle's seen a little bit of a, of a decline because of uh, the way his swing works, the swing path. It's hard to keep the ball fair with him. But we're going to hop into a game with him with this 99 Willie Mays, I dropped a few months back in World Series, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, especially on Legend. I was told this Willie Mays was gonna be on everybody's team. He was gonna be the starting first baseman for everybody or whatever the hell until Griffey came out. Who knew? Didn't see him at all. That's just my experience. I could be wrong. I find it very hard with him. Let's get into it. We'll talk about what I'm saying. I'll show you. I will show you what I'm talking about. All right, so. We're going to hop in and we're facing Parallel 5, Zach Granke. We got the cross play on because um, otherwise I won't be able to find the game. Game's pretty dead this time of the year. Extra dead this year with 22. But for some reason, it's really, really dead on Xbox. Um, PlayStation, I guess, maybe just has a lot more players. I don't know. I don't know. Anyone else do this? This is just me. I don't know. This is kind of how I've always been. I want to use the new cards despite being really good with certain cards that are now on my bench. I got Georgie, Cuz, J-Roll, all Parallel 5, and they're just sitting on my bench. I love George Brett. He's one of my favorite cards in the game. He's like number two. But I just want to use new cards, and it's kind of like, oh, he's done. Gone Parallel 5. Move him over. He's done. You know, move him over. Move him, all that shit. So, like, that's kind of what I've been doing. That's just what I, that's what I rock with. So, uh, hopefully I don't regret using um, a starting pitcher like Roy Halladay here, and, that, you know, I don't lose him for the sake you know of, of a quit uh, i didn't i didn't go opener strategy here and i, I probably should have i've been rocking with it and it had been working for me but we'll see point of this video is to show you why i think willie mays is a tough candidate and it's actually gonna be a really good example of why willie mays isn't isn't rocking you know like he used to because zach Granke throws hard and he's got five pitches and it's gonna be uncomfortable to hit that really fast sinker for him on legend too now last time i faced this roy holiday he actually kind of shoved it up me uh, last video, the Mike Trout debut. Guy pitched really well against me with him. Just just mixed well, and he dotted everything and all that in between. That wasn't a good pitch. This is another one. Gary Sheffield. I mean, this is how many good cards we have in this game. This guy's a max hitting Gary Sheffield with pretty good defense and 80 speed, but doesn't get play, really. I don't see him that often. Uh, it's kind of nuts. Just There's just so many good cards, man. Ooh, that's gas. That's a nasty pitch. Ooh, he's got the Seager. Another card that I think we'd see a little bit more if he wasn't a BR reward. But although, like I said, man, you don't even have to go flawless to get Mike Trout or Corey Seager. Just play BR, man. Get the program done. You ever throw a pitch so bad you want to hit it? Three. Doggone it, I'm pregnant. I'm about to be the Octo Mom after that pitch. <laughs> All right, Willie. Okay, batting 500 with two homers is not really... It's not really helping my case here. Two for four and two tanks. I don't know when that happened. That has to be from like an event or something. I don't remember. A few moments later... <laughs> there goes the video, bro. <laughs> oh my god, okay, look. This is just because I talk shit and it always blows up in my face. I have never in my life done that with Willie Mays. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. But you guys see what I'm talking about? That wasn't easy to do. And I do think Zach Granke is not meta right now. He's parallel five, but he's not meta meta. You know what I mean? Like if that was Nolan Ryan, or like a Randy Johnson fast, not Randy Johnson, like a Kluber sinker. Not only did he get on, he hit a late side of good out too. That's bonkers. This kid is an L7 wing. Oh. Up the middle. Oh. You know what? I, I was I was approached with the idea that Trout's 81 vision might be a problem. And I definitely think it's going to hurt him in some instances. But he strikes out a lot. He'll strike out. Whatever. But he's going to be able to hit when he hits the ball, bro. Mm, with those quirks, too. That ain't going to help him. That sinker was real fast. In the hole. Let's go, baby. Good shit. 
Oh, don't say this, 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 this. No, 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 Yes, I'm wearing long blue athletic shorts with a, a, a purple shirt. Didn't do laundry. Would you rather me be here to record you a video or do laundry? You bet. <laughs> two and two. Dot his shit. I'm pregnant, again. I'm pregnant on top of being pregnant. I'm stack the babies. They're stacking. There, there's a bunk bed inside my uterus. Where, like, where does that come from, bro? Like, what did I even, this is a, this is, okay. This pitch either is nasty and gets taken for strike three or he tanks it. Or I just miss. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Let's go to door three. You know, all those people out there that were like, me, these guys shouldn't get this secondary because they never played there. We have a Hank Garen who can play second base this year and it's nothing but amazing. We have Posada that can play second base. Nothing but amazing. Pudge, same thing. Who cares? Did it break any reality? This, this reality bubble that people have for the game? No, it's just good. Case in point. That's my point. It's just that there's not this reality illusion in a game that's not realistic. I don't know. I don't know. So I need to get a new headset. Obviously we know because the wire hasn't been working out for me. It's been getting in the way, but also because um, it's literally flaking off. Oh. All right, so whoever added that animation is dope. I respect you for that package. Love that. So I love your package. Hey, yo. All right, Willie. The only run of the game is Willie Mays. Three for five with three tanks. That shit was not going to happen again. We are, we almost tried to JR Smith that with a heat check. Do it again. Yeah, now nah, this is more This is more like Willie. This is more like Willie at this point. It's just, and this pitch right here is just, mm. but I suppose if you could take away the inside pitch, man, and you get everything, I, I don't know, I don't know. If you, could, if you could take it away, maybe. See, that's what he does a lot though. I mean, I didn't hit that ball. Bad example because I didn't square it up, but I said a lot. Get the out of here. Don't ever, in ever, ever again, throw Kenneth Griffith Jr. at that pitch again. It's the old shit, but that goes out the stadium, but that's a tank anyways. That's not like a soft, wet fart, but we'll take it. This kid is an L7 That one was wheel. absolute. You're going to strike out with Trout. It's going to happen. That one was gas. I mean, for a slider blowing me away is crazy. What the f No way that leaves. No way. <laughs> Wait, why was I early on that? How did that leave? I have so many questions. Well, I going to get in the hole. Trey again. He's so good. But this is what this goes back to what I said about Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron just uh he just slides under the radar every game with like a home run. You find yourself in a, in some precarious situations here, sir. Hammered. That ball better not get caught. Oh my god, what a jump by Trey Turner. Me and Stanley Yelnats, we just I don't know, do we jive, bro? Him and I, man. I, I hit better with him than I do with Babe. For me, the tier list for personal use, Luke Eric, Stanley. Babe Ruth. I'm being way better with Babe this year than the years previous, but I don't know. It's just the swings. You can make a case that Stanley's better than Babe if you value vision more than overall 125s. Because they're very similar, except Stan's about 115 right now versus righties, power wise. Everything else is max. But he's got max vision when Babe's like 107. That was a pretty bad at bat for the most part, but we'll take a double. Yeah, Cranky's getting exposed. The lower hits per nine's hurting him. Don't leave. Don't do it. All right, game two, let's go. This is how it goes, man. I either have to sweat and I lose, or it's a really, really sweaty game, and that's the only way it goes to completion, or I start winning by a decent amount. I got quits. That's just how it is. We got George Kirby going, guys. We're going to bring in, if we bring in Randy, bring in Randy. If not, we're bringing in um, Tom Seaver. Depends who we need, but opener strategy will reign supreme here. Oh, no. Is this going to be one of those guys that doesn't press A? Because he does everything. He hits his vape in between innings, eats some Cheetos. There was absolutely no reason for us to watch that whole shit. Gotta attack Trevor's story, man. That low vision, get him inside. It's gonna be hard for him to, to touch those pitches up. Beautiful, good pitch. That's his changeup. If you're using George Kirby, that's the pitch. The 87 to 91 cutter. That's the spot you'll beat him. Get there, Stanley. Yeah, I think, I think Babe might get a permanent spot on the bench. Great bat, but I like Stanley more. I just f*** with Stan. All right, this won't be as hard. Not a good example for Willie Mays because he's not a hard sinker from Greg Maddox, but I think we'll still see the same concept. No, get the f*** out. Get the f*** out of here, bro. Get out of here. My whole video is in flames. I'm changing the title of this video. It's going to be called Bring Me Willie Mays 99. I need him now. Good at bat. Oh, wow. A uh, Greg Maddox home run. He let up a home run, then he walked somebody. That is just a weird start for him. Not as advertised. 
Trouty, let's go, baby. I'm actually proud of myself for turning on that one. That's a tough pitch to hit with him. Trout's going to really benefit from the parallel system. Oh my goodness. I'm pushing that. Who's in right? That's Stan? That's easy. That's easy. Yeah, that's easy. That's easy. Let's go. That'll do it. That's going to be a hit. Is that a fielder's choice? I don't think so. Nope. That's a hit. There we go, Stanley. Oh, three nothing. This is, about, this is about to be another short game, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's the one. That's the one. Oh, no, no, make that land now. No, you, you're stupid. Bro, this guy's trying to throw for my theory. Another Willie Mays hit, technically. What are you doing? No, you know what? That's a good swing for now. I don't care. I don't want to hit. I don't want charity. Turn the double play, man. Tries to do a video about why Willie Mays sucks now, and, uh, and I'm hitting bombs, base hits because of diving defenders. I don't even know. All right. I mean, somehow this fool. Okay, we're not hitting against Kerry Wood. We're not doing it. He throws too hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that was just. Uh, yeah, guys, cut that. Jay, cut that from the video, bro. This is the time where I feel like the pitches get really hard to hit. When it gets a little laggy, it's almost like the ball appears a little bit delayed out of the hand. We would need someone who has a high, like, really, really high processing power to be able to break down this frame by frame. Good pitch. That's the one you hit with Willie Mays, by the way. Also, I forgot to mention, Willie has a hitch. I don't know why I'm like, a, I'm, I sound like a hater. I'm just, I'm really like. Ah, I'm really not trying to be a hater of Willie Mays. I, I want justice for Willie Mays. Oh. Oh my God, I almost hit that out. No, stop, okay. And I think where you could start too is we can even go deeper, right? Pause. I wanna see a shift away. I think meta changes are good. Do I wanna see a worse pitching meta where curveballs are dominant, where it's harder to pitch? No, but I think we need that. I think we need to bring curveballs back. I wanna see splitter meta come back like it was in 18. I need it. Meta shifts are good for the game. It's getting very hard to hit right now, whoa. But like we need a sh like it's been stale meta like balance changes Fortnite changes weapons weapons become stronger better Overwatch heroes become better or worse. You need to, like sinkers even they've been they've been they've been nerfed multiple times and they're not nearly as strong as they were but they still are the best pitch in the game pretty unanimously. If you see an outlier sinker guy you know you're in for some trouble. Now, how do you fix that? Well you gotta attack the way they move. Nice trial remote. Okay, let me finish my thought. So basically, the way that these pitches move now, they have a fixed break path at, after their apex is reached. What does that mean? It benefits certain pitches more than others. Sinkers, when they reach their apex, with that part where they go up, they have a velocity boost. That's how they finish their break. That's how MLB The Show has coded it in my mind from what I've seen. It has an additional break life to it. That means that extra velocity is where you get beat. Curveballs, when they reach their apex, what do they do? They plummet down to the same path. That's why you know where a curveball is going to go when you see it pop up. You can mash your PCI there. That's why they get hammered all the time. You got to fix the way that operates. The way that in, the way that interacts with the system is not it, it, it hurts curveballs because you always you're, you're always going to recognize a curveball out the hand and where it's going to go. It doesn't tunnel well enough with a four seam fastball. And to me, two seamers have become shitty sinkers. I think they give guys outlier sinker who don't have an outlier sinker. They have a running fastball very frequently. Maybe they should, they should switch the two seamer break with a running fastballs break. Trouty, let's go, baby. Oh my God, too close for my liking. Let's get him in. I think I know where he's going with, with against Hank Aaron, up and in. Nah, f no, get out of here, bro. Get out of here. Down oh, beautiful. On the tag, out. Good pitch. Beautiful swing. I mean, good f pitch, dude. Unlucky. All right, 2-2 two, two count. I'm clearly getting blown back here. I think the only place I can't get beat is up here. I think I can maybe I can catch that. Get in the hole. I mean, Willie Mays, another hit, bro. Not even touching it. That's that might. I don't know why he was in, though. Third baseman was kind of in there. I'll take that, bro. I mean, yeah, he's proving my theory wrong. Kind of got it. Okay. A little bailed here. We got to take This is how you win these games. You take advantage of yourself getting bailed. Come on, Trouty. That's got to go, baby. I don't know how, but it does. Trouty's just, I mean, he's different. All the quirks, man, make a difference. I just got bailed all the way to three runs. That's got to get a run in. That should do it. 
Left a little early and it worked out well. There's a little bit of a delay. That's all you have to do there, man. Now we got Willie Mays up. Who's actually got reverse splits? Nice try, Ramon. I don't know, man. I'm glad you chased that, bro, but come on. That's most cutter with a par that's like this. Perfect, perfect release. Why is that missing by so much? Don't do this shit. There we go, Trouty. Good jump. He hates that pitch. GG's. Play the game goes to Mike Trout, just beating out Willie Mays. So does my theory on Willie Mays hold true? I think it does, sort of. Um, I really don't know how I turned on those two sinkers. It's gotta be the caffeine that I had in my system at the time, but um, it was like one was Greg Maddox. That, that's too slow. That doesn't really count. It was just funny, but the one against Zach Granke was kind of crazy. Either way, I hope you guys see what I was talking about. It's funny no matter what. Hope you guys enjoyed the game, man. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.